Thank you so much for being here. Like I said in my intro, you are from the South. And so what would you say is the most Southern thing about you? Um, my accent's pretty Southern. Okay. I've been in LA for 17 years, but this accent is not going away. <laughs> But um, a lot of people don't know this about me. I'm actually a debutante. Yeah. I am a true Southern belle. Uh, what is that exactly for people who might not know? It's uh, you come out to society uh, not as a lesbian. That was later. <laughs> uh, you come out uh, to high society as a, a young lady. I, I don't really know it. It's like a lot of etiquette classes. OK. And I love this so much. I love it yeah. so much. We actually have a picture from your debutante days. Let's check it out. Yeah. I'm shook. I'm shook. That's right. What's happening here? Whose head? What is yeah. all this? It's my brother, because obviously, you should wear a white wedding gown with your brother. It look, kind of looks like your wedding. Yeah. yeah it does. Yeah, I, that's the only time I'll ever have a white wedding gown uh, on in my life. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's like a whole thing. You have a debutante ball where you're presented to society, and I passed the test. Woo! Yeah. I mean, I did woo! it. I did. Are you happy about that? I feel great. Then woo! I love it. <laughs> so I don't know what a, I don't know if I'm a dainty lady. But... Who cares? I think you're you, and that's perfect. Yeah. That's what I think. I do drink uh, with a pinky up. Nice. So. <laughs> when you move to LA, I'm always so curious to ask about people's experience yeah. moving to LA because sometimes it can be kind of tough. It's very you know? hard, yeah. Was it tough making friends? Yeah, it was hard, like, because uh, in LA, you don't even know your neighbors. So I was, like, bummed out because I didn't have any friends. So I did what you did in uh, 2004, and I went on Craigslist. No. Yeah. No, I, no, you did not. Did. Fortune, you did not. That, it was, like, totally normal back then. People were just like, everyone was. Like meeting people on Craigslist. So I was joining like all kinds of. <laughs> well, I had just realized I was gay. So I was also trying to find gay people okay. to be friends with. And I was like, I'm going to find the gays on Craigslist. <laughs> um, so I like joined like, uh, like a tennis team, a softball, like, you know, a lot of sports, thinking we might all shower together uh, <laughs> after the matches. That didn't happen. But uh, I felt. Finding the lesbians in the softball league. Nice. I, I know that's a stereotype, but we do love softball. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great sport. <laughs> so, Fortune, we all love a good Lifetime movie. Who doesn't? Oh, who doesn't? But I did hear that there was one in particular that kind of changed your life. Tell me about that. Yeah, it was the catalyst to to my coming out. Um, wow. And there was a, a Lifetime movie called The Truth About Jane. And it's a, a girl in high school realized she was a lesbian. And her mom was, like, not into it. And then at the end, everyone's like, yay, you're gay. <laughs> and um, I said out loud, I was by myself. And I watched this, and I go, oh, my god. And I said out loud, I was like, I'm gay. <laughs> and it came from watching a Lifetime movie. <laughs> Honestly, can, can totally relate to that because I feel like even for my journey, it wasn't even a whole bunch of like, oh my god, hiding. It was just utter confusion and not knowing. <laughs> yeah. Especially because the culture I was raised in, mm -hmm. sex scenes in Bollywood movies were like, <sighs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, handhold. Yeah, I can do that with anyone. That seems pretty chill. Like, I think that's fine. Yeah. And so I also I think that's why representation is so important it when is. you see these stories. <laughs> And you can see yourself in yeah. them. So big applause for that. I love that for you. Thank you.